What's up everyone, my name's Luke and today we're going to be reviewing the Grizzly off-road tyres for the Super 73 e-bike to see how they can take your bike's capability to a whole nother level when you're shredding off-road. The Grizzly tyres from Super 73 offer tread for those seeking to venture beyond the paved path and it opens up a whole world of possibilities and freedom on the trails and you can really push your bike to the limit and have a blast. These tyres have an aggressive knobbly tread pattern which offers excellent grip on a variety of terrain and it really digs in on the trails to make sure you're not going to be sliding around and you can put all of your power through and straight down to the trails to really see what your bike can do. These tires are designed to dig into dirt, gravel and loam when you're flying along the trails having a great time. They provide constant contact and grip on hard pack, rock and asphalt so you're not just limited to off-road riding, you can take it on any terrain. Looking at the style of these tyres, we can see how the Super 73 logo has been moulded into the design. And due to the Grizzly name, you can actually see that they've included bear claws on the side walls, which not only look amazing, they also help clear dirt off your tyres to keep them as grippy as possible when you're shredding. These tyres fit certain models of Super 73. For example, they fit the OG the ZX, the S2 and the RX, but they don't fit the Z1 or the S1 according to Super 73's website. So this is one thing to take in mind when you're purchasing these tires for your Super 73. When you buy a Super 73, S2, RX or R series bike, you receive Badger tires as stock, also known as the BDGR. Now these tires are great for street riding, but if you want to really push the bike off road, from my personal experience, they can slide around and it just limits your confidence when you really want to send it on any terrain. So this is where the Grizzly tyres can really take your riding to a whole nother level. The Grizzly tyres are simple and easy to install as they utilise the same setup as the Badger tyres with the 4.5 inch front and the 5 inch rear tyre. And why these are so simple to install, even in comparison to the stock tyres, is with the stock setup, you don't have directional arrows on the side walls, but with the Grizzly tyres, you have directional arrows which really help when you're installing your tyres. Because what this means is, when you are installing your tyres or if you need to fix a puncture and you've got to take the tyre off, it means you always know which way you need to put your tyre back on your rim to ensure the tread pattern is going in the correct direction for optimum grip. One thing that I really wanted to know when I was buying my Grizzly tyres was, was I going to lose any speed or range? And I'm very happy to say that I have not lost any top speed and I haven't lost any range, considering you would think there'd be more drag because of the tread pattern, but actually I'm getting the same results as I did with the stock tires. So this is a great feature that even though Super 73 have made the tires more aggressive, they're not too aggressive that you're going to lack performance. When I'm riding the streets, these tyres give me even more confidence because I know they're going to grip even if I lean really hard into a turn with this more aggressive tread pattern. So they're not limited to just trail riding, you can take them on the streets and have a blast. They also make a super awesome rumbling noise as you're going along because they're more aggressive, so your bike definitely does sound louder, but I quite like it. So what these tyres really do is it opens up more possibilities and it makes your bike even more capable. As you can ride with freedom and explore with confidence knowing that your Grizzly tyres are not going to back down from a challenge. So I really hope you've learnt a lot from this video and you now know if the Grizzly tyres are for you. And if you do enjoy my content, then please do like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.